got a little bit of a sore nose just here. Like, you know, the bridge of my nose it feels a bit like, like it's stinging a little bit. Not sure why. Okay, guys, so I have a confession. A million people in the crowd that I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. YouTube channel I hope life is treating you well and I hope you're having a fabulous week so for today's video I'm super excited because it's just gonna be a chill one and who doesn't love a chill video so grab your cuppa it's going to be chill. So, I'm going to be going into Morrison's to do my shopping. Me and Sean had the weekly discussion this morning who's doing the food shopping. I got lumbered with it again, but he did take the dogs on a big walk this morning. Someone was walking the dogs and someone was, um, someone was doing the dog's main walk because they get two walks a big one and a little one so someone was doing the puppy's main walk and someone was doing the grocery shop and he detests doing the grocery shop so he's given us a list, list of stuff that he wants us to collect and get so i'm going to try and get everything last week i went to asda and i had a really bad experience i couldn't get many steak i couldn't get many like pre-made sandwich fillers um i had a really like I couldn't get much in Asda last week. I was a little bit disappointed. But we're going to go to Morrison's this week just because it's the easiest, it's convenient. And that's what I fancy today. I fancy an easy life today. Also, I had one of the most amazing comments on my Instagram this morning. It's honestly just made us feel so great. Um, so I posted a photo like a selfie yesterday and someone commented on it saying honestly i've fallen more and more in love with you as a person lately how cute you're vibing some different way and i absolutely love it for you everything about you your hair skin personality and mental health and attitude towards life in general you're the definition of a glow up during this lockdown inside and out keep going the way you're going um because you're on the road of being right where you should be and you know what, right? When I read that this morning, I was just like, my heart's coming pitter patter, pitter patter. Oh, I don't feel sick, but I honestly felt like overwhelmed because I've been feeling that about myself recently. I feel like I've had such a mental such a mental health grow up and i feel like that's the best type of grow up and i've not had one of them in years i've definitely had physic physical <laughs> i've definitely been having physical grow ups over kind of you know the last few years here and there i've lost a bit of weight i've done this i've you know had physical glow ups but honestly like they're just more fitness glow ups for me at the minute me fitness ain't great I'm not gonna lie i'm getting really 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 unfit um i need to sort it out but it's just not a priority at the minute you know I just don't wake up in the morning and choose fitness probably should but i don't it's just not my priority doesn't i just don't care really anyway i do need to sort that out though because um i've talked about it before but i do get men mental health i do get health issues if i let my weight get to a certain size and it is quite worrying because diabetes is quite prominent in my family my grandma's got it my dad's got it so i do not want to get it um and there's other things as well my mom has conditions and you know it's just not great so i really do need to um lose a bit of weight and get back into fitness and kind of feed my body nutritional stuff instead of processed shit that i feed myself all of the time but going back to that comment i have had over the last few months such a mental health glow up and the fact that somebody else noticed that literally it just meant a lot do you know what i mean because it's hard to describe but like over the last few months my mindset's changed so much i've changed so much as a person like so 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 much and i just feel like so happy and content with where i am in life what i'm getting out of life and each morning i wake up and i'm actually excited and for a lot of years that was not the case for me for a lot of years i woke up um i suffered with and i have suffered with in the past situational depression and it's something that has like been really hard um, and i do st suffer with death anxiety as well which at the minute they're both so well maintained and i just feel so happy and positive with life with what life's bringing us with the opportunities that i'm getting and even just in general day-to-day -day life with sean the puppies the house i'm so content and happy that i just love it um 
and you know even my content as well that i'm producing online i'm so happy with because i'm no longer doing things for views and likes and other people's kind of approval i'm doing things for me and that's such a change of mindset for me because i always did things for other people's approval like i always wanted to do challenges because everybody else was doing a challenge and don't get us wrong i'll still do challenges here and when i see fit but now my content is purely just me and i love it i love it so much and i'm just so happy in all aspects of life at the minute and i just feel like that's something worth talking about you know it really is anyway i'm gonna go and do me shopping so we've did a little bit of meal prepping sorry guys um but yeah so we've got a little bit of plan with today's shop which hopefully should go well because we're not very good at planning with meals or planning with shops but i said to sean i'm sick of wasting money i'm sick of wasting food like it has became a bit of a joke and i said when well, we need a plan so we've sat down this morning and planned it so he needs some sandwich fillers for work he said try and get him like a pre-done chicken and tuna one we need some bread buns he wants some sweet and salty popcorn some healthy yogurts he wants a fillet steak chicken thighs he wants some kippers and mackerel he wants um sweet potatoes he wants one or two healthy microwave meals just to take to work when he's on night shift so he wants the like calorie counted ones he says try and get him a pot of pepperoni and cheese in the same packet if i can get that which i don't really know what it is i want to try and pick up some reusable skewer like things you know the things like to put the things to make skewers i'm sure you can get metal ones i want to try and pick some reusable ones up with them we need some poo bags for the pups we both want to have a burger night so i'm going to get some vegan burgers and non-vegan burgers and then i think on the night so tomorrow night for tea i'm going to do meatball pasta so i need to get vegan and non-vegan meatball honestly this has been a problem since we moved in maybe being vegan i mean i'm not going back because i couldn't eat meat now and i couldn't eat dairy now but it is a bit inconvenient having to cook two versions of everything and it is costly but I suppose it's just the life I chose. <laughs> um, I need meatballs, so both both versions of meatballs, and then I'm gonna get the garlic breads if they have them because they have these amazing garlic breads. I'm gonna do meatball pasta one night. Sean's gonna have steak and um, sweet potato fries with the veg the next night. I'll probably have something similar, like a vegan version of it somehow if, although i don't really like any vegan steaks so i might just have like the um like mediterranean veg with fries and maybe like a vegan bit of chicken or something and then i fancy because sean does two night shifts a week so i have like tea twice by myself so i think i'm gonna do fajitas one night by myself and then beans on toast which i have most of the stuff in for them i just need to pick up some wraps um but yeah and then we're gonna have burgers and um sweet potato fries so we've got a bit of a plan so i feel like this shopping could be more successful than previous ones because like i said we've planned it a bit so let's see how we get on my car is an absolute mess and if anybody else is a dog owner do you just have constant poo bags on you i just have poo bags everywhere is this mask clean i am terrible okay please don't judge do you think come the 21st of june will we not have to wear masks anymore or is the mask still gonna be a thing what the hell is this my optician's receipt okay Let's go and see what we pick up in Morrison. I've seen these on the Accidentally Vegan Group UK protein noodles. They're meant to be like a vegan version. Well, they're not actually vegan. They're marked as vegetarian, but they've got no products in that would make them not vegan. Um, and they're like a protein noodle. They'd be really good replacement for like an egg noodle. And they'll also have soy, ginger and garlic special noodles. Um, but these are apparently really nice, so I'm going to pick a pack up. They have such a good range of sauces here, yeah, all marked vegan. Teriyaki looks really nice. I think I'm going to pick one of them up. Love that for me. I've got a few bits in the trolley already, sweet potatoes, a few bits in bobs here, which I'll do like a full what I bought when I'm home. So you'll see everything that I bought. But yeah, I'm going to get like some bits and bobs to make a stir fry. So we've got the noodles, got the sauce. I have plenty of veg in the house. So I'm going to make sure I use that up. I might just get a few extra bits guys this is the garlic breads that i was on about they are the best they're the garlic and parsley ciabatta breadsticks me and sean love them and i got the last pack so very happy about that guys i nearly died i thought this mousse from alpro was mint because it's green but it's not it's pistachio um so i don't think i like that as much but um yeah they've got some new mousses in which i've never seen before and then the coconut collaborative have some little banoffee pops which actually could be quite nice guys it was absolutely heaving in morrison so i didn't get much footage but I've done me shopping so i'm just gonna head home and i'll show you everything that i got i spent 92 pound i think so definitely 
still on the high end for a weekly shop i completely understand that but i do feel it is hard when i eat plant-based and sean doesn't because obviously if i want to make a meatball dish he won't eat the vegan ones and obviously i don't want to eat the meat ones so i have to get both um and i did get some convenience foods again just still not in the right pattern but i did get a lot of fresh and we still have fresh in the house to use up as well so i feel like i got a happy medium and i can definitely make some nice meals with what i got but yeah so i'll show you what i got in the house so this is the weekly shop all laid out i'm going to talk you through what i got mr bloody manager of the shop who likes to come in and judge but doesn't like to do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I got some of these whole pickled sweet cucumbers because I really wanted them. I got Sean some chicken thighs. I then got this, which is like slices of mature cheddar for Sean and the pups. I got two milkshakes. This is a dairy-free one. And then this one, which is just like a normal one. I got a bolognese sauce because I'm going to make a meatball pasta. Then I got two of these for Sean, a chicken tikka and a tuna crunch. I got the meatballs, yeah. And then I also got this chicken satay and sweet chilli dip. I thought it would just be a snack for Sean to take to work. And he was like, I'm not 12. <laughs> then I got some eggs because I'm going to do the pups some eggs this week because they haven't had any in a while. And I've seen these and I had to get them. Oreo mint. Yeah. I think they'll be delicious. I love mint stuff. Then I also got this tomato sauce, which is tomato and garlic. I got the protein noodles, which are meant to be dead nice for a stir fry. And then I just picked up four carrots. They actually look like really nice ones. And then I got some curiously cinnamon because I absolutely love cinnamon. And then I got these sun bites and these ones. None of these are vegan, but Sean wanted some healthier crisps for work. It's going to taste testy's milkshake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a posh one in a jar before. Delicious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is it a good one? Yeah, it's good, that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I thought you'd like a good jaw situation. <laughs> so I got him then for work. I then also picked up some long stem broccoli. I then also picked up this from the new range I've seen, um, which is wholesome green pasta. So I thought that would be nice for a bit of a lunch. And then I picked up some mushrooms. I went through a stage of not liking mushrooms, but I feel like I want to start putting mushrooms back in my dishes. So I got some. I got some pita bread because I was going to make fajitas, but I feel like I might just make pitas one night. And then I got eight wrap um, buns for Sean, wholemeal rolls with the like dust of... What are, what are the dust on it? Flour? Flour. Huh? Yeah, then I got two Sean healthy things for work, nourish. Um, chicken noodles and then creamy mustard chicken and roast potatoes I had to get them I've been craving a bloody jam donut for ages and the Morrison's ones are accidentally vegan so usually they do big packs of them and I was like I'm not going to get that but I've seen these two raspberry donuts 45 pence can't go wrong can you mm -hmm. I just thought you know I need that <laughs> then I also picked up this this is the hoisin noodles with crunchy vegetables I thought again it would just be a nice little thing for lunch and then Sean wanted some pepperoni and cheese which I couldn't find so I got this which is chorizo with cheese mm -hmm. you eat that no. yeah then he wanted some um fish so I got him kippa fillets with like the butter they didn't have any mackerel and then I got some Bellevue Soft Bakes, the strawberry ones, because they're accidentally vegan. I then also picked up some vegan coleslaw. A little vegan flapjack that I found, which I thought looked quite nice. Golden flapjack. Some red onion and chive bagels. These are really nice. Um, and they're accidentally vegan. Okay, so for meats for me, or fake meats, I got some vegan burgers. These are by the Vegetarian Butcher. I also got their meatballs as well because they are so, so, so nice. And I'm going to use them in my meatball pasta. Mine, is it going to look as delicious as that? I don't know. I then also picked up some of the This Isn't Bacon. I absolutely love this. And then I got some of the This Isn't Chicken. And then I got Sean two fillet steaks because he's a fillet person. He doesn't like any other steak but a fillet. So I got him two fillets. I then also picked up a pack of the vegan ham. This is so handy for sandwiches, bagels, just whatever I fancy. I like it. I then also picked up some more sweet potatoes because we were running out. And then some packs of chicken just as a high value treat for the pups. I got some of these proper chips, the barbecue lentil ones. I love the um, sour cream and chive, but they didn't have any. I picked this up. I was going to drink it after the shop, but I accidentally packed it away. So it's there. I then also got some teriyaki stir in sauce. I'm going to use this in a stir fry. I got Sean the peppercorn sauce if you wanted it. Yeah, because I, yeah, I thought we had steak, so I got him that. I got two little beans, 
just handy to have pickled onions i was craving them i go through phases where i really crave pickled onions and i was so i got some and then also picked up this which is new from the nourish range apple raspberry and burr sue smoothie now i know they're really bad in sugar and you shouldn't have them but i really like them i then also picked up this via life smoky cheddar cheese i've never tried this one so i thought i'll give it a go these are the best garlic breads ever i love them i'm gonna do these with the meatball thing that we're having i then fancied these these are the banoffee little pots look at them so i thought oh, we'll pick them up so yeah 102 calories per pot i mean they are tiny so that's not great but and then i also picked up these biscoff cream biscuits because um they're accidentally vegan and i love the spread so i thought we'll pick them up then also got some vegan strawberry yogurts made with coconut and then i got shown these yogurts for work because he really likes the uh, langley farm ones so he's got a blueberry one vanilla strawberry black currant and mandarin what's your favorite possibly the blueberry yeah he had them all them flavors uh, yeah i don't think i have a black currant actually no new one for yeah. you to try then yeah, right. mm. happy with the selection i got yeah didn't have the lemon ones because i know you do like them yeah. but yeah so this is an overview 90 odd pound which i do think is quite expensive but it was morrison's and i did get quite a few convenience foods again and the vegan meats are bloody expensive so yeah how do you think i done Good. yeah happy with this one yeah. last week i done absolutely appalling right i was going around the shop and i don't know what happened but i got home and my fridge was still empty but i did spend about 80 quid no, no, last week bad. i think it was worse than even the one sean's done it was just appalling i just had i don't know what happened had a brain butterfly or something because i just got now in but this week i've did better so i'm gonna pop all this away and yeah there she is looking much more healthy i love a full fridge so much choice obviously we still had like quite a few bits in from the last shop as well so our fruit and veg drawer is actually still full because we've got like spring onions lettuce all that so yeah i'm very happy love a full fridge guys look at me having a little sunbathe on his bed Oh, he's so cute, man. Luna will be harassing him or chewing furniture or something. She'll be getting up to trouble, but he's so cute. He's like, I'm just topping up my time, ma'am. Is it hot outside? It's all right, lady. All right, because I might need to put his sun cream on. <laughs> I'll show you guys the sun cream I got him. This is the sun cream that I got them. It's the doggy sun mist. It's just like a spray one. It's really handy, though, because they love sitting in the sun. And obviously, I don't want them to get burnt. Um, so it's an SPF of 15. But yeah, you can get white versions as well. Because, oi! What's happening? Did you stand on him, Luna? Yeah, I used to get the white version for Dolly. But the spray one's really good as well. I'm actually going to put a little bit on them. Because it is Henry, leave it. Leave it. Good boy, Henry. Good boy. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of sun cream on. So I just spray, spray him like this, give him a rub. Doesn't really like it, but it's all right, Henry. It's all right, darling. He's a bit of a woosoo, Henry, when oh, it comes to things like that. And then, wait there, darling. Wait there, baby. Oh. Then what I usually do is spray some on. Oh, he's running now. He <laughs> does him on his sun cream on. Luna, yeah. put a bit on you, darling. Good girl, she's all right. Come here. <laughs> God, we took, we took them to get the nails cut yesterday, didn't we? Aye. No, I no, are right, so see, she's better. Yeah, she's girl. tougher than him, like. And then we'll just spray a bit on your head to keep you nice and sunny. There you go. Can I put a bit on your top of your head? Look, Henry. <laughs> it's like, no, ma'am. <laughs> I've got to run away from this. Can't have that white cream on. Come here, just see your head. Let it stroke you. <laughs> Henry! Oh, God, he's a right rude. Look at my handsome boy. You're so handsome, Henry. Oh, he's always in the kitchen bed. Like, if we're in the kitchen, Henry's in the kitchen bed. Isn't he? He's just lush. He's so cute. I love him. I love you, Henry. It's not dinner time yet, though, darling. You have to wait. Okay, guys. So, I have a confession, kind of. We have something new 
in the kitchen, don't we? Mm -hmm. Something you wanted for quite a while. <laughs> you were aiming to get one, weren't you? So, basically, if you watched any of the moving vlogs, the kitchen vlog or anything like that, you'll notice we were mine as a dishwasher. And I was very anti-dishwasher. I was like, nope, I've never had one. I don't need one. Because I just felt like they took a hell of a long time. Hey, <laughs> Oh. Um, I just felt like a dishwasher took too much space up because we would have had to completely rearrange the utility yeah. and to me the utility is my pride and joy like I love it I've got my cleaning cupboard space we have the like um, washer dryer and I just love the utility and I was like I'm not rearranging it I'm not having that I'm not doing it so yeah that's one reason that I didn't want one but also I just felt like they took a hell of a long time to like fill you know like I just had never had the dishwasher experience so I was quite anti-dishwasher you on the other hand I wanted one because yeah. it's just easy, simple and easy. You grew up when you've yeah. always had one, haven't you? Ah, I so it's just a nightmare washing dishes, I think. Yeah, you've hated it since we moved in. Then we found out about mini dishwashers, which I actually had never heard of. I didn't know they were a thing. No. Um, and they're basically aimed at people who like don't have large families. You don't have the space for like a big dishwasher. So they're perfect for like people who live in flats or just like us, a couple who just live together um, and don't have the space for like a big dishwasher. So we have one and it's by a brand called Comfy who very kindly sponsored this section of the video which I'm so excited to show you about because we've had it, you installed it when? A week ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was it like to install? Was it quick? Because I wasn't in. Mm -hmm. You can <laughs> fill it up with water. Yeah, which or you can plumb it in. You could do if, if it's a big job but we put ours under the sink so you've, you've got water there. Yeah. So you just need to redo the pipe work a bit so it wasn't that bad especially now with plastic push fit pipe work. It's very easy to do that, you know. So that's all we use, what I use for that. Just cool water to it and... Because it heats the water up itself, doesn't it? And um, we had a socket nearby, mm -hmm. behind the cupboards. So I plugged it into that. So yeah. there's no electrical work for what we do. So technically though, for this dishwasher, you actually only need an electrical point. Because like I say, you get a jug which you can fill you the dishwasher up. Fill it up by, but... Or you can plumb it in if you're having it in a place where it's easy to plumb in. Yeah. Ours is plumbed in. Um, but yeah, you, if you don't have the space to plumb it in, you don't have to. Because my grandma really wants one, you know. Uh, and she actually wants to sit hers above on our sink. Because on the advertisement for the dishwasher, yeah. people have it on the drying part uh, of their sink. So you could literally just uh, rinse your dishes and put them in. Yeah. Um, and she's desperate to get one. Because if it was there, you just filled up. I think it's just at the top of it. Yeah. So you could just fill it up with a jug. My grandma, when I told her about us uh, having one, I was like, I know I said I didn't want a dishwasher, but now we have a mini one. And she was like a mini dishwasher yeah. and she was like that would be perfect for me because I hate doing my dishes yeah. so next time she's yeah she's gonna have a look at ours and I think she's yeah. gonna get one um so yeah she's desperate so I think it's perfect if you've just a small family I would say maybe three people if you had like yeah. a small child it would still be fine or if you just don't have the room for a big dishwasher because they do take up quite a bit of room oh, God, are you leg. going down a level <laughs> your legs killing oh, we're kneeling on the floor because I was like we need to do this segment of the oh. video you can't have the kneeling. No. I think it would be perfect for very small families, perfect for us. Like, the dishes we use typically throughout the day, we can get in, like, our cups and stuff. But if you cook a big meal with, like, saucepans and stuff like that, then we do have to wash them because quite our saucepans are quite big no. and they don't fit. But all our cups, dishes, plates, knife and forks, they all fit, which yeah. is actually been no. really handy. I could be converted to no. the dishwasher family, not going to lie, because I have been loving it. What I love as well, though, like, I'll set it off at a night time. So there's loads of different cycles but I tend to use either the 58 eco cycle which is like 58 minutes like an eco cycle or there's a like quick wash for like half an hour yeah. and that one doesn't dry them though so if you want your, your dishes to dry the quick one will give you them wet right. <laughs> um, but anyway they're the ones I've tend to kind of flick through the last week and um it's great because I'll before I put a series or something on I'll just set it off and then in the morning you've got your fresh dishes in there or you can empty it at the night and it's just it has been good not gonna right. lie so the footage I got the other day installing it uh, let me show you that now. Um, it's quite easy and quite simple. And then, obviously, we chose to put it into the sink. So, have a go. Yeah, we're going to have a go at putting the washing machine, washing machine, dishwasher, underneath the sink. Today, we've got this it's a compact, small dishwasher. This one, I think, is actually the smaller version. You can get a little larger version, but our cupboards aren't that big. So, we've just went for the, hopefully, one that'll fit better in our cupboards. I'm going to try and put it in the D. I've just got to, Plum it in and hopefully, as you can see in the kitchen, underneath that socket, behind them drawers, there was a 
double socket. And I can't remember what I've done when we were doing the kitchen out, but it should still be there. Hopefully it is, and I can get that easy. We'll come to that one we'll come with, and we'll do the plumbing side first. Yeah, so I just don't like that as much, you know, but under the sink and crap on with that. I'm staying in bed thinking back on us and everything that went wrong. Never said goodbye, think I broke your trust, should have known this all along. Don't wanna be the one that you're trying to avoid. I'm feeling so confused, why did I act so annoyed? Well, I'm actually out, I'm actually sweating now. Just cut that hole out. And there was a socket I forgot about, the one I said. Down there, it was still actually taped up. <laughs> the uh, paint must have had it on the pipeline and that, and then the kitchen got put in. And just forgot about so that top it's there, powered up. And that's the cupboard. Just next to the cupboard we're going in, so work out how we get the cable to that and then we can plug it in. You can use the dishwasher, you can actually just fill it up with water if you want. Um but I wanna try and just plumb it in. And obviously that's the more like permanent way to have it, so but first I get the electric there, see what the crack is and go with that. You can see the appliance is now plumbed in, wired in. That's with dishwasher underneath the sink there because that's where the space was. It's actually the only cupboard we could get it in and it's convenient. So it's plumbed in there as it's near the sink. It's got a drain that goes into the same drain as the sink as well. And then just a couple of cupboards along with a double socket underneath them. Luckily enough, and the flex just went to that, no bother. Obviously, shuts away. Happy days. And you got a couple of trees with it so that's it in there light up quite good that so that's the kitchen as it was before but no lo and behold there's a dishwasher in there ta-da look at that what the mark just take the sticker off as you do yeah so there's the sink here's the cupboard this is where she is so Look at how cute she is! Oh, we haven't given her a name yet. Mm -hmm. I feel like she needs a name. Right. What do you want to call her? Don't know. Susan. Oh, yeah. I like a good Susan. So beautiful. So, I'll quickly show you what I know about it so far. Ignore the light. But this is like your little section here where you've got all your different cycles. I tend to use this one here, which is a 58 minute eco wash. Um, or there is a half an hour wash as well, but I can't remember where that is. Rapid. I think it's on Rapid, yeah. So if you press that one. 29 minutes and 58 so yeah this is what she looks like she's very cute looking i think cute little dishwasher and then when you open it ta -da! so you have your rack so you have like one mini rack here but it actually is quite deceiving it fits quite a bit in and then this is your little pull down and you can put your cutlery in there which is quite handy um but this is the jug you get as well if you did want to just like fill it up and not plumb it in i'm not sure what these are we haven't actually used these yet are we i think that tree is to help you fill it up okay if you are filling it up i think that's like goes on top of your appliance and just helps you fill it up okay what's this just obviously just bit, i think just to put in there to help you extra like like Maybe. if you wanted extra organization nah, and stuff like but we haven't personally used them yet nah, so it tells you in the instructions how to stack it properly in that. Yeah, the Tells dead informative. Like. We've kind of learned and got yeah, an yeah, idea yeah. of it now. Instead of just chucking it in, if you just do what they see. Yeah, you get a lot more yeah. in. Um, but yes, I'm going to show you how we fill it up because we've got some dishes to put in and I'll show you how we'll turn her on and everything. I'm very excited. Okay, so obviously like any dishwasher, you just rinse the food and that off. And then we'll start with the plate. So then just to stack my plates up here and there's like little slots there which the plates like slot in. It was just quite good. Because it's good because the mugs actually fit like under the rack thing so when I put my stuff on like that you get your mugs in. Let me hold you tight but I don't know if you let me Kind of different because I think big dishwashers have like a pot thing, don't uh, they? Did your mum and dad have uh, one? But this is like a rack, so then you just like kind of slot them in like this, 
which is actually really handy because sometimes i don't know if you've done this show when you've stacked it Ooh, but sometimes i am um, like double it up if we've got too many right. Are you done it? so this is what she looks like how cute everything's stacked up so then what you do is it's got this little slot here for like your detergent and i just didn't really know what to get so i picked up these all-in-one dishwasher tablets from asda and you have to put like your tablet or whatever detergent thing you use which is slots in there which is what i do then obviously this is how she looks okay, and then what we'll do we'll do the 58 cycle because we've got quite a bit in there so we're just going to do the 58 eco cycle which like i said before is this one and then you just start and look at that go there guys see so you can actually see the water going into the dishwasher now I literally like it. It's like a little waterfall. I love watching more. I find it dead therapeutic. Can you tell I've been overly excited about this dishwasher? This is the first time when I seen this, I was like, whoa, look at this, guys. It looks so cool. Look. Look at the water spinning. I'm spinning around. Move out of my way. Doing our stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to sit for the full 57 minutes, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Not like you've probably, you've probably all got dishwashers, but I'm sure dishwashers don't actually have like a window on them. So maybe you can't actually see your dishwasher doing its stuff, but I can, and I find it dead cool. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Anyway, I'm just gonna close the cupboard, show you when it's done, all of my clean dishes. It's very exciting. Anyway, I've got videos to edit, so I'm gonna leave that to run for now. And I need to do some editing, 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 editing. I'm honestly so happy and proud of their lead walk and recently this is like so revolutionary from what it used to be honestly so proud come on until Henry Henry eats a bit of poo come on Henry that's not what I'm proud of okay so I'm just doing the pups evening walk while Sean does tea we've kind of got into a good pattern at the minute of like sorting jobs out throughout the day so he's doing tea tonight and I'm doing that evening walk usually about half an hour 20 minutes for this walk which is still quite decent because they're just little um come on but yeah their walking has come along so much like they are so much better than they used to be it used to be like the dreaded task taking them for a walk because they'd eat everything they'd be all over the place they'd be pulling your arms but with a lot of training we've managed to get them better still not perfect but better but that being said i've actually just booked in puppy classes well older puppy classes because they're seven months now so they're not like puppy puppies um just because there's a few things i still want help with i know that training is definitely only to train you how to train them to do something and i'm totally aware of that but there's still some things that i need a hand with um and i know that the pups would benefit from extra training so and i always said before we got them as well i wanted to take them to training classes but because of covid never got the chance so throughout may we're going to be going to some training and i'm really excited because i think it'd be really beneficial for them and me i'm very excited for that but yeah we're just on our walk and it's beautiful it has been raining earlier so it's a little bit like dull but it's still lovely Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, trip, trip. Nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're through. Okay, what well, I come in here. Oh. So this is what Sean's made me, like uh, they're like the fake chicken, what brand are they? Viviera, that brand, the chicken tenders. So I've got that in like a stir fry, looks very nice. And Sean's having sweet corn, fillet steak, sweet potato fries, what's that? Sweet corn. Oh, I might have a sweet corn as well. Looks very nice, thank you very much. So here it is, my dinner, my chicken and some side of sweet corn very exciting had with tea that was absolutely beautiful i'm gonna keep that bit for tomorrow because he made quite a lot because i think he just used up the pack of noodles so the dishwasher's done and i'm gonna show you my dishes Ta -da! 
put the light on for a bit of light and then I'm going to refill it because we've obviously got dirty dishes again from having our tea so I'm going to refill that so in the morning they'll be nice and clean ah, look at how gleaming she is I love that look at how shiny the glasses are oh my god like I could definitely not get them that clean like I definitely was not getting them that shiny when I was washing them myself. I think I definitely have been converted to a dishwasher girl and I do really love this one because it's so small, it's so compact. I didn't have to change my utility. It literally just fits in a little slot in the kitchen. And like I said, if you don't want to get it plumbed in, you don't have to get it plumbed in. I'm going to have the link to the dishwasher below in case you're interested in a little mini dishwasher for yourself in case you think it's something that will be suitable for your home and your family. But honestly, I can highly recommend it. I've been loving it. Sean's been loving it. It has made our life a hell of a lot easier and yeah I'm sorry to all the dishwashers I offended in the past when I said that they weren't worth it because I kind of think that they are <laughs> okay guys so this is going to be the end of this vlog it's quite a long one but um yeah I really hope you enjoyed it because I know you do like the casual vlogs that we do and thank you so much for watching if you've got any video suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comments below I love it for the rat -a -tat. I'll see you very shortly for another one bye A million people in the crowd